In this video, we're going to give our player the ability to enter and exit the vehicles we've created in our game. So let's get started. So to get started, we're going to go to our, our car and we're going to say when I start as, oh my goodness, this is the wrong one. Okay, so we're first going to go to our car and we're going to say when I start as clone, I'm going to create a new one. We will say when I start as clone. Um, we're going to create a brand new variable called driving, which basically means our player is in the car. Um, this is going to be for all sprites. And then we're going to say forever. Um, and then we're going to get an if um, key press. So let's just get an if statement. No if and else. So just if we've pressed I, um, then we're going to um, first look if car health is greater than zero so let's just snag this um if car health is greater than zero which means we can drive the car we're going to switch our co our costume to the collision detector which we've made earlier and then we're going to look if we're touching the player so if our current um car is touching the player so let's um grab an if statement um so if you've made your collision detector too big and two cars are close to each other um, that might mean you might end up driving two cars at the same time. So try to make your um, collision detector not too um, ginormous. Um, and then that we've done previously. And now let's go to our if statement again. And then we say if um, go to operators and say equals to. And we're going to say if um, driving equals to false. So where is our driving sprite? Yeah, we want to make sure that we're not actually driving and actually think about this. We can just do this in an and statement. Um, let's grab an and statement just to save um, um, coding real estate. And then we're going to say broadcast um, driving, which I don't I don't think we need to do that. Let's just first set um, controlled to true um and then if we can we can we grab something from here just to save time okay let, let's just say it's not save time let's say set um x and y to my x and my y basically we're saying that um the the the, <coughs> the game should focus on the car because we're inside the car and then we're going to set um driving to true so where is our driving so driving to true so after we're done with this we're going to switch the costume to um the car type so this is the 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 costume that we are now so we just say set car, car to car type so now if we go to any car i believe if we just click i um hold on Okay, nothing's happening, um, which is okay, I guess. Let's see, car health is greater than zero. Switch costume if touching player and driving equals to false. Okay, so what I've done wrong is we have to say when flag is clicked, um, basically go to our player and say when flag is clicked, we need to set um, driving to false. Now we can run um, to a little car, click I, and still doesn't work. That's crazy. Okay, that's fine. Let's continue coding. Then it should it should work eventually. So we also want our player to be able to exit the car um, and also hide our character if we're driving. So what, what I'm going to do is say when flag is clicked um, forever, um, we're going to look if um, for two things. So let's grab two if statements. Um, actually just one for now we're gonna say if um, e is pressed um, if key e is pressed which basically we're gonna use to leave the car um, now let's say if e um, and um, driving equals to true so let's say driving equals to true um duplicate this and then just have the driving oh my goodness let's just duplicate this and see driving equals to true so now we're going to set 
um, driving to fault if our player wishes to leave the car and they've pressed E. Actually, no, 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 not E. Let's set this to O. Let's make this O because we're using um, E for something else. So let's set this to O, which means out, I, in. And then we're going to broadcast um, a message called walking. Um, and then we're going to show our player. And then we're going to hide it if um we're going to hide it yeah yeah we're going to hide it and then if if we are driving we want to hide our player and then just set um my x and my y to x and y and then put this over here and now i'm, I'm assuming this still won't work but let's see Oh, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. But our player can still move, we'll, we'll fix that. What did I just see? What kind of car? Hmm, okay, anyway. If we click E, yeah, this got a little bit too big. Okay, wow, that got really big. Um, huh, I wonder why that was the case. Um, let's just step in a few more cars, just to continue testing. Um, I believe it was a taxi that was problematic, but we can fix that a bit later. Okay, and the, okay, so, okay, so the car is switching when we enter it. Um, let's go to car, when car I is pressed. Switch costume to car type. Okay, okay, okay. So, ah, uh, okay, okay, so it's a problem that I did um, early in, I mean, in the previous video. Um, we should create for this sprite only um, car costume and then we're going to set um, car costume to car type and then set um, this to car costume right because you want this to be individual the car type will be the most recently made car that's why we had that um, glitch over there and then set car costume here instead of car type now let's see if that should fix that glitch that we had we should still of course be able to move but yeah okay cool let's try heading in a different car oh wait the taxi turned big the last time we entered it so let's try to get in again some problems getting close to the taxi okay, okay. taxi didn't glitch um and then now let's try this okay cool so this is fixed now we just have to say so if we go into our player the first thing we want to do is um we say we have a previous x previous y right here yes so we want to drag all of this out um and we can only do this if and then drag this back in and you just want to i believe we already have this duplicate this if driving equals to false so that should fix the whole moving glitch that we had there and we're broadcasting walking so let's um if we go to our costume yeah we have a collide over here so what we're gonna do is when i receive walking we're going to switch the costume to collider um switch costume to collider and then we're going to show um and then we're going to change um we're going to change my x by negative 90 so we don't want our play to spawn like inside the car um wait let me just show you what would happen if i remove this so let's go into a car and then out you see what inside the car and we can't move so what we want to do is change my x by negative 90 but there are times where the car is rotated in such a way that it will still be touching our car even though we move by x negative 90 so what i'm going to do is okay first set the position and then we're going to say if um if and then we just grab an or statement um touching what is it touching car or the collider so if we're also touching a collider for some reason um then we want to change x by 180 basically 
changing by 90 originally instead of negative 90 so it'll go to the right instead of the left um and then if that doesn't work we just duplicate this put this here if we're still touching it what we're going to do is change it by negative 90 so it's back in the center in terms of x um and da, 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 yeah back in the center in terms of x and then we're going to change my y um change my y by negative 90 my goodness by negative 90 and if that still doesn't work we duplicate this put this inside here and then we'll, we'll just say change my y by negative 180 so no, no negative 180 but by 180 so that should by definition uh, make sure that our player if you click in okay i think what i have to do is an out okay then we we can see that our player is out but the collider is showing for too long so what we need to do is right after we're done with this we're going to switch our costume to idle so um switch costume to um idle and then we want to set um um let's see we're going to set x and y to my y and o y and my y and my my x and my y so now let's do this okay so i'm assuming oh okay okay so another problem that we're having is um let's go to all of our cars um and if we just select around for some of these cars or just select the whole thing um select the whole thing okay so we have a bit of um probably some kind of random thing so we, we just want to delete any of this excess um space um in our cars so let's go here and here and delete that um let's see okay okay we have a bunch of it in the back delete and then and if it in front yeah delete so what we're basically doing is just making sure that our game i mean our cars are are only um colliding with the actual car we don't want to collide with any weird um what is it extra material so let's go to our truck let's go to our truck our audi um and our police okay so now let's try this again um yeah so that should be fine and i think we can maybe d um reduce the size of this a little bit um i hope this is still works um yeah no that doesn't work at all it's actually i think we have to increase the size to be honest a little bit okay let's try that again yeah that makes it much easier we can drive the car we can get out and yeah that's all we needed to do this video thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please smash a like button if you did and turn on the subs smash the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next video where we're going to be um driving these cars that we enter and exit so see you in the next one peace